This is the one month review on the Traxxas Summit. So I'll be going over the bad things about the car and then the good things. Bad things. The rear drive shafts. So, these come as plastic out of the box. And one on each side broke on me. So I decided to replace them with metal, which have held up way better. And then the gears and the differential. The, the middle gears, I don't know what they're called. But they, they stripped out on me, like, two weeks ago, so I decided to replace them. Had to replace them. And since then, they've done good, but just something to keep an eye on. The other thing is the servos. Like, very quickly, when I got this car, the servos were stripping uh, gears inside of them, and I even took uh, a gear out of my slash. And put it into here, and now it's still stripped. So these servos, the gears, are just too weak for the amount of power that, that they have. So I decided instead of getting whole new servos, off-brand servos that are stronger, I just got metal, ge uh, metal gears and put them inside the servo, and I've had no problems with them since. So just you're, you're probably going to need to spend some money getting better gears for the servos. And then, another bad thing is, kind of battery related, but it, it might be just for my batteries, not Traxxas batteries, but when, when you're in high gear and trying to go fast and just going around for fun, the batteries d drain quickly, but when you're actually crawling and in low gear, these bat the batteries last forever, so... If if you're just going to be going fast with this car and just going around, the batteries won't last that long. I think that's all the bad things about this car. Now the good things. The suspension. Re rear wheels on the ground, front wheels on the ground. A and look, look at all that clearance. That is amazing. And then the softness of the tires just grab onto the rocks so well. I do have a little bit of, uh, don't completely like the TRX4 compared to the Summit. Just, the Summit goes over big things much better than, than the TRX4. But the TRX4 can get into smaller places, but this is not about the TRX4, so that'll be in another video. So, just the suspension and wheels on it are, are amazing. The old thing is... The ESC. So, I have driven this thing a lot, and I felt the ESC. The ESC never gets hot. The ESC always stays cool. The motor gets hot, because you know it's the motor, but the ESC, unlike the drag slash, the ESC on here does not get hot at all. So that's really good. And th the lights on this, are, on this are amazing. I'm so, so glad that the lights come out of the box, installed, ready to go. So just, the, the fact that Traxxas included the light on this car is amazing. And, I mean, I mean the whole car overall is great. It goes, it goes over everything easily, and just does, does pretty much everything I've asked it to. Go, goes through the stream, as you can see in some of my other videos. Goes over rocks easily, which big rocks will probably be in an, in an upcoming video. Just does everything. So there's besides the the few things that I've said about the car about the car, you just need to get replacement parts and they should hold up well. And yeah, that's all I've got about this car really for now. So, I'll probably do a six-month review on this car when I can. Oh, before the video ends. I didn't talk about the body at all. The roll cage. The roll cage is amazing. I have done some nasty flips and falls with this thing, and it has held up really well. The roll cage is still looking good, except for right here, which... My fault. And it has protected protected the body pretty well, except for 
like a dent in here. Don't know how it got there, don't know when it was there. But besides that, the roll cage has been a lifesaver to this body. So, with that being said, I'm probably going to end the video here. And I'll probably do a six month review when the time comes. So, I'll see you then.